Cardinal Health's Kangaroo Nutritional Delivery Portfolio offers a safe, innovative, and complete solution of products that support pediatric and adult enteral feeding needs from the hospital to the home. Blind feeding tube placements increase the risk of perforations, pneumothorax, aspiration pneumonia, and mortality. Delays in feeding leads to malnourished patients or at increased risk for pressure ulcers, infections, and mortality. IRIS is Cardinal Health's solution to blind feeding tube placements. IRIS stands for Integrated Real-Time Imaging System. It's the first disposable feeding tube with an integrated 3mm camera and triple LED illumination in the distal tip, which enables visualization in real-time live video during placement. The kangaroo feeding tube with IRIS technology helps reduce the risk and impact associated with blind feeding tube misplacements by providing a safer approach to position small bore feeding tubes at the bedside. Before the procedure, verify the order. Review contradictions and precautions, assess the patient and note allergies, and discuss the procedure with the patient and or the family. Now gather your supplies. You will have the water, insufflation bulb, iris feeding tube, and your facility's preferred feeding tube securement device. To prepare the iris tube, start by connecting the insufflation bulb. Make sure the stylet is secure and connect the cable. The insufflation device is used to deliver air through the feeding tube during the placement by manually squeezing the bulb. Each squeeze provides 30 milliliters of air. Activate the hydromer coating by resting the first five inches of the distal tip in water for five to 10 seconds. Now it is time to place the tube. Choose the most patent nair and insert the feeding tube with the stylet. Direct the feeding tube posteriorly, aiming the tip parallel to the nasal septum and superior surface of the hard palate. While inserting, utilize the console screen to correctly identify anatomical markers during placement. The esophagus is a long, hollow, muscular organ that collapses on itself. Look for the tissue of the esophagus to contract around the tip of the feeding tube. Confirm position in the esophagus by squeezing the insufflation bulb twice. Confirmation of being in the esophagus is seen when the structure dilates at approximately 30 centimeters. Continue advancing the tube to 50 centimeters and confirm the image on the screen. The stomach is a cavernous structure with large irregular rugal folds. The tissue is smooth and there is presence of gastric pits which resemble freckles. Continue advancing the tube to the length measure, moving slower around the 60 to 70 centimeter marking as to prevent coiling from occurring. At 70 centimeters, the tube will be in the small bowel. The tissue of the small bowel is covered with villi. Villi are finger-like projections that move around the feeding tube in a wave-like fashion. Once the villi of the small bowel are visualized, advance the feeding tube an additional five centimeters and secure the tube. To complete the procedure, tap the green check mark. A window will pop up requesting confirmation that the procedure is complete. To confirm, tap the green check mark again. Disconnect the interface cable from the feeding tube and cover the electronic port. The interface cable is reusable, so do not dispose. Confirm feeding tube placement per institutional protocol, remove the stylet, and connect the feeding tube to the feeding set. With NFIT, it is important to remember to not over-tighten or force to connect. For more information, please contact your local Cardinal Health representative.